very well. I know you've probably been asked this a million times already today. How does it feel to be world champion? Yeah, really good. Um, pretty overwhelmed, but I think I'm pretty much coming back down to earth now. Um, I went back to school today and it's just like a normal day, which is really nice. How was it being back at school? Um, it was good, actually. It was, um, you know, people come up and say, well done and congratulations and ask how it went and stuff like that. But my friends just acted like I'd never been gone, which is really what I wanted. It was really nice. Is it weird having so much more attention? Yes, <laughs> definitely, yeah. Um, I think I've sort of slowly gotten used to it. You know, when you're younger, you have like the odd interview maybe once a year, and it's really exciting. And then suddenly you're in a, like, you know, a day like this when you're having 15 in, a, in the space of an hour. Um, so it is a bit weird, but yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I was going to ask, how, does the, how do the junior champs compare with the senior ones now? Um, quite a lot different, especially the track champs. Um, it's just such a big deal being a senior rider, especially... You know, the way you have to look after yourself, everything's just done for you, it's amazing. Like, all you have to think about is just riding your bike, which helps so much. How is it going up against kind of the, sort of the massive names that you've maybe like grown up with in cycling and now you're competing against them? Terrifying, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. But I think the scariest part of it was that I was slotted into the best team in the world. And it was sort of, oh God, if anything goes wrong, it's got to be my fault because they are the best and pretty much perfect riders. Um, so it's more, you know, my I was more scared by my teammates than it was by my opposition. Yeah, so a lot of a lot's been made about you being kind of the youngest in the team. Have you noticed it? Has it like made an impact or anything? Um, you know, I'm the youngest, but not by a massive amount. Um, Laura's 20 and Danny's 22, so we're all pretty much in the same age bracket. Um, yeah, so you know, wasn't that much different there. Yeah. They've had to be pretty mature for their age, given all the press and everything that they've had to deal with in the past. But. Um, yeah, they're just really down to earth heels. What do you think the success of the Great British team is down to? Um, a lot of things, yeah, a lot of things. Uh, attention to detail, I'd say. Every little thing is taken care of, which I think is really important. Um, I think that's the edge we probably have on other teams. Do you think this is the best state Welsh cycling has ever been in? Yeah, I think so, yeah. We're in a really good position at the moment. Um, I think this is the best time ever to be involved in cycling, you know, whatever organisation you're under. Mm -hmm. And finally, what's next? Um, unfortunately, now I'm going to stay in school for a little bit. Um, training's going to take up a bit, a bit of a back foot, but I'll be back on it as soon as I finish my exams, um, back into big competitions again. Is, is the next big thing the Commonwealth Games, or, is, or am I missing? Um, well, it is, yes, but then I'll be... The World Champs again will be before that, so I'll be defending my jersey before that. Um, so that's the big sort of next big g games, I guess. Like multi-sport games but within cycling there's quite a lot before that brilliant thank you guys thank you